Hello and welcome aboard again, my wonderful community. In today's video, I'm going to be dissecting what I did, the transition technique I used in one of my last videos for you guys to get to see. So remember, before you're able to achieve anything, you must have a clear plan on what you want to do. That means if you're going to be transitioning, it means you must have the concept in your brain, which I always talk about that DJing is about, it's a craft. That means you must craft the idea in your brain before you implement it and before you able to be before you're able to implement it to get the type of result that you are seeing here it means you must have your setup well arranged everything must be in good condition just the way when you want to prepare a very nice meal you must have all the ingredients ready because you cannot be cooking rubbish yes the proper ingredient must be available before you start so i believe you're already set with this so let's get into it to get to see what i did what i did was i first have this track loading this is deck one i'm going to do it break down step by step so the track is actually here on deck one then while it is playing i was actually toggling between two points that is the one and two one and two this point i've set them here look at the wave look at the first point here one if i come down you can see the second point so let me run it for you to see look at it one two one two so that was how i was toggling between one and two then i'm going to play it now i'm going to do it then you get to see one So I slow down the tempo in order to flow with this other deck, that is this other deck, because there's a particular sound that is common between these two decks. That means the second point, look at it. Let me play it for you to see. Look at it. Then when I take this one here, look at it, that second first deck. So playing around with the two points makes it possible for me to bring up this other track on it. <coughs> And how did I bring this other track from it into it? I use this equal to this plus sign that has equal to under. So tapping on it while playing on this other one automatically turn on the second deck to roll it. So look at it again now. Let me run it for you to guys to see. So at this point I'm toggling, you can see. I'm actually following the rhythm of the second deck because that is how the structure of the second deck is. So just watch one, two, three, four. So at this point, you can see how I've able to smoothly move from this very deck to this other deck and this other one this deck too now is now rolling smoothly so that is how we run it so i believe you really learned something in this video very video so the craft is very easy just how wide your brain can think and how you can introduce new concept to it this mapping is so powerful that there are a lot of things that you can do with it beyond your imagination as i continue to bring you more more concept will be coming over the period of time so if you are just coming across the channel i believe I don't need to tell you, you already know what to do, except you want to lose them. So, catch you in my next video as we continue to bring you more fire. Fire!